For such an informal vlog, this is this is not informal. This is a formal ass setup. Andrea made an early, well, not super early morning, but she made a morning target run and procured the most valuable asset during this lockdown. You're only allowed one. I had two in my hand. I was at self-checkout and the girl was like, you only get one. And in my head, I was like, you should have told that to the people who fucking hoarded it when the shit started. It was actually at the top shelf and it was like, all the way to the back because there's nowhere nowhere near the front anymore and if did you i climb? couldn't reach it no <laughs> i did not climb work smarter not harder two aisles down were the brooms oh. with the dust pans so i grabbed one and i went huh, uh, uh, and then i put the room back boom boom got it so for some weird reason decaf doesn't register in my brain when I see a bag of coffee and it says decaf on it, it doesn't register to me that it's decaf. Like we went to Berkeley Bowl and I asked them, I was like, what's the difference between those two bags? They're the same, the same blend, like the same thing. And he's like, it says decaf on it. And I didn't register, didn't register as a decaf. <laughs> so, so I looked at the name and I looked at the notes. So it didn't register me, to me that it says decaf at the top. We're at home. I'm not doing any extra work. I've already worked out this morning. So maybe we just go do decaf. And plus we have the beans. I need to drink them down anyway, because otherwise- There's a whole bunch. We're not gonna drink it down. Yeah. So now I can have Vietnamese coffee. Without going crazy. Without going crazy, because I have decaf beans. Yeah. I forgot about that. So we're doing decaf today. Why not? This girl's waiting for something. She's waiting for this. She loves these. She loves these little peanut butter pill pockets. Like, oh, I know what that is. Yes, good girl. Up. Down. Up. Sit. Pa. Other paw. Thank you. <laughs> down. Roll. Oh, you almost did down. Roll. Roll. There you go. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Mm -hmm. Eat the whole thing. Yes, she always does. Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. Because she's a good girl, kids. There you go. What day is it? Monday? Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's Monday. We didn't really do anything today, at least in the morning. Besides securing the TP this morning, <laughs> we've been working and now we've been hankering for some chocolate cake. So we're gonna make some. And today we're making the tasty recipe. <laughs> we're gonna make the tasty recipe because it calls for stout. Stout. His favorite beer, I stout. Like stout. So we're gonna do that. So first, sift your dry ingredients. Flour, Dutch processed cocoa powder, some salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Reason why we sift is because the, chalk, the cocoa powder is really, really bumpy. And you could see this, those big chunks that we need to break the cocoa powder up. Before we do that, everything sift. And then when you have the big balls, feel free to just break it up through the sifter. Our salt is too big to make it in, so we're just gonna put the salt in. That's been sifted, set that aside. So we're going to cream our butter and sugar. So now we have, this is a cup and a half of sugar, a lot of sugar. And then we have a cup of butter. Put their butter in here. God, I'm probably doing this wrong, but whatever. We're just gonna do it. Cream everything together. We're gonna aerate it and it's gonna build some structure. 
please, Lord, don't let me mess this up. A lot of ingredients. thing about this recipe so they don't use milk or buttercream they use mayonnaise it says trust them so I'm gonna trust them this is half a cup of mayo which is gonna be really interesting I'm guessing this is where the moisture comes from let's mix that in the mixture is getting really creamy so Maybe that's a good sign. All right. Some wet, in extra wet ingredients. I'm do some stout. Honey, you might have to open this for me. It's one and a half cup, cups stout. We don't have espresso powder, so we're brewing some really strong coffee. And so I don't want to add any more liquid than I need to. Um, so I'm going to do half a cup of coffee with one cup of stout. Half a cup of coffee. All the epic coffee we roll. Then one cup of stout, which is going to total to one and a half cups in here. Okay, now we mix. This was the moment I was waiting for. Oh, oh, oh. Is it good? Oh, that's so good. Look at that. Mm. Oh my God, that's so strong. <laughs> Yum, okay. Okay. So now we put in a little bit of dry. Amazing. I hope so. It's almost like a it's like a, like a ganache, yeah. Yeah, so this is it. And then now we have to distribute evenly into two pans. We have nine inch rounds that I've already gone ahead and oiled. Oiled and parchment paper. Oiled parchment oil. So let's see. Okay, just pour it in and we can like hand mix it. Oh my god. This is gonna be an epic cake. It's so light. I've never seen 
batter this light before. It's like, you see, it's like, it's like a chocolate whipped cream almost. Yeah. I'm actually yeah, really excited pudding, about chocolate it. whipped cream. Oof. This is where a better mixing bowl comes in handy. We have some other mixing bowls, but they're not glass. And they have like a little pour spout and they have little handles. It makes it easy to pour. Um, but it doesn't look good on camera. Maybe we should just use those next time. Just, um, but yeah, I'll see what I can do here. good. You want it now? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, the stout. I know. Is like <clears throat> so rich. Yeah, that stout makes a huge difference. Ugh, look at all this batter on the table. Lick it off. I don't want to lick it off. Boom, boom. Mm, 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 mm. I'm waiting for the comments to be like, that's disgusting. Stop licking the table. Whatever, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's be three tiered cake pans, but we only have two nine inch rounds. So we're only gonna make a double layered cake. 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the cake comes clean. At 325. And then you get to make the buttercream while I'm on my call. Because I have to go back to work. Unfortunately, there. Unfortunately or fortunately? It's a good and a bad thing. I am the only person that does what I do in my whole company. So therefore, I am a commodity. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that means You're I have the to- the only one who does it and so everyone calls on you. Correct, and I have to do it around the globe. So I have a call in 20 minutes with a customer in Pakistan, and unfortunately, due to the time difference, I have to be on a call at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. So, I'm making a cake before that. Cakes, oven, center rack, 325. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 35 minutes. 35 minutes, and we're starting now. See you in a little bit. I gotta set things up. One hour later. It's been an hour. Finished my call. Uh -huh. The cakes uh, are out uh, of the oven and have been cooling for the past 25, 30 minutes. It smells so good. And it, I don't know if you could see it in the GoPro. See it here. This is dark cake. Like yeah. it's dark. Super dark. Super dark. Uh, I can't wait to eat it. Ugh. Making our own powdered sugar because we don't have powdered sugar. <laughs> don't die. That's probably five cups, right? Sure. Like way okay. oh, it I, I would I will risk it. Um, so this is our version of the tiny whisk. Um, if you watch Binging with Babish. <laughs> it's not quite as tiny as his whisk, but you know how we do how out here in California. I don't get it. I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm excited. Like, we're celebrating being at home and celebrating just being able to spend time together, make a cake. And not go crazy. And not go crazy. At least a weekend. Yeah, and we still have a lot more. <laughs> Unfortunately. We have the unforeseeable future. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lauren is my sister-in-law. When I used to live with my brother, I came downstairs one time and she was in the kitchen with a fork picking out the frosting from between two layers of cake. <laughs> I've actually witnessed her spoon frosting yeah. from the container. She is a... She would much rather just eat the frosting than the cake. Which I know is, is a thing, but honestly, I like the cake. Interesting YouTube content. This is quality YouTube content. <laughs> okay, we're gonna chill this for a second. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. 20 minutes later. A little trick to make it not move. You put a little dab. Da -da -da. This is the only cake plate we have. <laughs> Basically, it's the Note only- Note to self, get a cake yeah, stand the plate plate that's something. big enough to hold a cake. Yeah, so we tossed that in the fridge for you know, like 15, 20 minutes and it definitely solidified. It's like a big chocolate <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh yeah. I'm just here to look pretty at this point. <laughs> you wanna... It's a little like... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because we turned the top cake upside down. I'm sure we're not gonna regret it, especially like once we cut into it. Oh yeah, absolutely not. I'm... I need to put this on my Instagram. What do you do when you have nothing else to do and you're in lockdown? You bake a beer cake. Ugh. Why is that a chocolate emoji? <laughs> chocolate swirl. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Chocolate squirrel. Wait, you don't even have a plate to put the cake on. <laughs> oh, it's collapsing in the middle. No. It's because there's no structure in the middle. It's all frosting. That cake is damn good. Mm. That cake is damn good. 
<laughs> if you want to bake a cake, or hankering for a chocolate cake, the tasty one yeah. is really good. I don't know if the recipe is just really good. The recipe is pretty good. I think it also is because of the, the stout that we had. It's, it's coffee. Yeah. The bourbon coffee stout is actually really rich. Here, have a have a sip and, and then. Oh. <laughs> you take that top one. Okay. I'll take that one. Mm. Uh huh. Um. Mm hmm. So it's moist. It's so moist. You do. You get a little bit, of, just a little bit of the coffee. You get a lot of the chocolate, like it it actually intensifies the chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of richness going on. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about that. I think it's because of the stout. Mm -hmm. It's so good. One thing we do need to, to work on is our frosting. The butter needed to be cooler. You know who this reminds me of? Have you ever seen Matilda? I have, but I don't remember. Bruce! He ate like a fat piece of chocolate cake. And Trent Bull like made him eat it at the hole in front of the hole. Bruce! 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 Now we have a whole cake to eat. Imagine also, we actually, you're supposed to put dark chocolate chunks in here, which we did not do, which I'm actually very happy about because this cake is already super rich. And then if you have pockets of dark chocolate inside, it would be a lot. Yeah. It would be a lot. Okay. All right. It's after 11. We're done. Time for me to go edit this so you can see this tomorrow morning. Until tomorrow. It's us against the world. Vlog edition. Baking edition. Sure. Baking vlog edition. So something happened. While wow, we we're trying to transfer from the plate here to, we actually <laughs> realized that we have like a cake Tupperware thing with a lid. We tried to transfer it and the cake kind of broke. So you see, we, we got a fissure.